Gemini Love Horoscope 2016. Pluto has been in your 7th house of love, marriage and social activities for some years now and it will be there in 2016 too. This has many and sundry meanings. In the short term it shows passionate, tempestuous love. Extremism in love. The attraction of partners or lovers who are extremist, jealous types. It shows the deaths and rebirths of relationships and marriages. A higher divorce rate than normal. The urge to make over your partner in one's own image is very strong and is a bone of contention. Your partner too, tries to make you over. There are subtle struggles for power in your marriage and love life. One might legitimately wonder about the reason for all of this, does the cosmos want to punish or cause pain? Of course not. But the planetary powers are. Using your love life to effect a transformation in both you and your partner. Love attitudes are going to change dramatically. More importantly, it is all part of the process by which you will change and bring forth the ideal you which has been your major undertaking for some years now. Last year your love life was active but stressful. Your partner's ambitions conflicted with your personal needs and desires. Or you were involved with lovers who seemed to care more about their career than about you. Happily this is changing in 2016. Your current partner or spouse is either less career orientated, or has put the career into perspective and is giving you the attention you deserve. Singles are making significant connections now. Marriage may or may not happen, but the opportunity will be there. Singles find love through the introductions of friends, or through groups and organizations they belong to. Romantic prospects start out as friendships and develop from that. People whom you thought of as friends turn out to be much more than that. Another interesting thing about love, Jupiter, your love planet, moves very speedily, unusually so, in 2016. It actually traverses three different signs. Thus love can come to you in a variety of ways and there are a variety of types of lover who could come into your life. Until 13 February you continue to attract career types, some are actually obsessed with their career. After 13 February you begin attracting people who are more like friends than lovers. Relationships are passionate but there is a need for freedom and space. From 28th June to 23rd October you attract more spiritual and idealistic types. Love will come to you in a variety of ways as well. Until 13th February it comes through your job or through the pursuit of career goals. Love could happen with a superior at work or someone you meet through your work. After 13th February love comes to you at group activities or seminars. From 28th June to 23rd October it could come through charitable activities, church functions or meditation groups. Jupiter's speedy motion shows that you have more social confidence this year. You are going out more, playing the field more. While Jupiter is in Aries, 13th February to 28th June and 23rd October to 31st December, there will be many love at first sight experiences. Love tends to happen quickly. You may tend to jump into relationships prematurely and make a few mistakes. Your ardor can start off with such intensity that it is difficult to maintain. If it's the wrong person the ardor will cool very quickly. Those who have been married once before will have a happy and exciting social life as well. Again we see love coming out of the blue, suddenly and unexpectedly. Love is exciting but unstable. Marriage or divorce happens with equal ease. Though marriage is likely, the opportunity is there, it might be a good idea to delay a decision until you're sure about things. Don't marry while in a state of doubt. Those who have been married twice before are also having a good social year.